Father Augustus Tolton was a former slave and the United States' first black priest. Father Tolton he is the latest subject of the EWTN series, They Might Be Saints. The show arrives just in time to mark the 125th anniversary of Father Tolton's death. And joining us tonight with a lot more on Father Tolton is Michael O'Neill, producer and host of They Might Be Saints. Michael, good to be with you tonight. Uh, Father Tolton's childhood, as you know, was anything but ordinary. Uh, when the Civil War broke out back in 1861, his dad joined the Union, and then his mom took quite the journey of her own with three small children. Uh, tell us more about this. Yeah, I learned so much about the life of Father Augustus Tolton writing my book, They Might Be Saints, which matches up to the television series, They Might Be Saints, in the episode we did on Father Augustus Tolton. So uh, Father Augustus Tolton, Gus, as he was called uh, as a youngster, he grew up in Missouri and he was a slave. But his mother, Martha Jane, took him and his two siblings and she crossed the Mississippi River uh, amidst the gunfire of Confederate soldiers. And arriving on the other side, they landed in Quincy, Illinois. And that's where he grew up. And he attended Catholic school there and took a great interest in uh, per perhaps becoming a Catholic priest. And that's sort of where the path uh, started when they uh, looked forward uh, to him potentially becoming the first uh, African-American priest. Yeah, and he really did face uh, quite the uphill battle uh, becoming a priest. What can you tell us uh, about that? So he was uh, sort of under the tutelage of uh, two German priests in the parish there in Quincy, and they tried to get him into every seminary in the United States, and he was rejected across the board. Nobody in America uh, was ready for the first African-American priest. And so eventually they sent him to the sacred congregation uh, for the propagation of the faith in Rome. And that's where he studied and was a highly popular seminarian. And he later went on to be, uh, to be ordained in 1886. And as a seminarian there, he would be uh, sent anywhere. He was ready for that. And he was actually preparing to go to Africa. So he studied languages and cultures but then in a last minute uh, bait and switch or a switcheroo, he ended up being sent back to Quincy, Illinois, where he had been, uh, where he had grown up, where he had been bullied, where he wasn't accepted. So he was brought back to perhaps the most difficult parish of all, uh, Mission Territory, right back here in the United States. Wow. And, and you know, as you mentioned, uh, the world that Father Tolton lived in back then really was filled with racism and a lot of division. Um, and now more than a century later, we still sometimes see some of the same. Um, what do you think he has to teach us about overcoming and also about hope? So Father Tolton is a venerable. He's on the path to sainthood, meaning that his life of heroic virtue has been established by Rome. He's the most recently recent American to receive this honor in 2019. And so we know his life of virtue is fully established as being one who uh, had great faith, hope and charity, love for those, even those who hated him and tortured him and persecuted him. So uh, he uh, he moved to Chicago after being in Quincy and he served the poor and uh, traveled around the country, spreading the message of faith and hope and uh, love for everyone. And I think uh, he serves as a great example of uh, that we're all called to be saints and uh, anybody can be a saint. And we're all praying that Father Augustus Tolton with another miracle will be uh, move on to the to the status of blessed in the Catholic Church. Absolutely. And Michael, I'm curious, what did you find most fascinating about Father Tolton in your studies about him in this episode? And also, could you tell us how he's still relevant today? What was so fascinating to me is her his persistence, his uh, sticking with it. He, so I think that he was really dealt a difficult hand uh, finding a vocation in his heart and not being able to actually enter a seminary in the United States. And I'm sure he was ready to move on from the United States, even though his family was here. But then coming right back to the place where he was, uh, where he had such difficulties shows incredible fortitude. And then going to Chicago and there were challenges there as well. So uh, is incredible uh, just stick to itness and just uh, going through the process of becoming a priest and living that life of virtue and modeling that virtue. And I think that uh, even though he died in the 1800s, in 1897, 
we see him as a vi very modern saint because of all that's going on in our country with racial, racial division and otherwise. And I think that uh, he's a great person that we can uh, look to as a model, uh, as an intercessor, and uh, perhaps we'll see him as a saint someday soon. Absolutely. Michael, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it.